Hi, buddies. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Koala and exporting files. Specifically, we're going to send things to GarageBand, but this works for sending them anywhere um, in the Files app. Okay, so I've just got this little loop that I made. Yeah. And we are going to export this loop, um, just this little sequence. So the first thing we're going to do is hit the hamburger menu, the three lines in the upper right hand side. Then we're going to hit the export button. So you can see here, we have lots of options. We can export the current sample that's selected or all the samples, current sequence, all the sequences. We're going to do the current sequence. So we're going to hit that. And then we have the option of doing mixed or stems. We'll do a video on stems later. For now, we're just going to do the whole thing as one way file. And we're going to call it schmack. And then we're going to label the BPM. 110 BPM. And that is so that we can reference the beat per minute so we can um, line everything all up and we just have to look at the file name. Okay, we're gonna hit okay. And then it's gonna ask us what to do with it. And we're going to go to save to files. And this is really important on the left hand side here. There's iCloud drive or on my iPad. We want on my iPad. And this is our actual file system. Um, and we're going to go GarageBand. If you have GarageBand installed, it already has a folder set up. And we're going to go to GarageBand File Transfer and then hit Save. Boom. Now we're going to open up GarageBand and we want to make sure that it opens up to this screen, um, which is our file screen. And we're going to hit Create Song. And we're going to come over to Vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the upper left hand side is a Lego button. Quick side note, we're going to backtrack a little bit. Um, in case you open up and you're on this screen, you hit the um, little file thing. And another thing is that sometimes it'll be on live loops. Um, when you open up a thing, you can see up on the top, there's live loops and tracks. We want tracks and Lego button again. And here we go. Now the next video that I do is going to be on arranging things and making them bigger, but by default, it is set to, what is it set to? 100 and, yeah, 110, which is convenient for us. Um, and it is set to an eight bar loop. If we hit the plus button, we can change what that is. We can add sections and do all that stuff, but we're just going to keep it simple for right now. We're going to, if your um, tempo is different than 110 beats per minute, you just change it like that and the little settings icon on the upper right hand side. We're gonna to go to the loop, which is a roller coaster or shoelace icon. And sometimes it'll bring you to Apple Loops and we wanna to go to files and that will open up anything that's in your file transfer thing. And I'm just gonna press and hold that. Nope, not slide. I'm gonna press and hold that and bring it over. And you can see it's perfectly lined up. And if I select it and I grab the end, I can shorten it. So I'm just going to select on the actual file till it's highlighted and then press it again and hit loop. And now, yeah, you can see that there's a click on that little blue icon. I'm just going to turn that off. And then as it's playing, if you hit stop, that stop turns into a back button. Boom. This one to the left, that's an undo button, leave that alone for now. So now I'm going to go back to that loop browser and then go to Apple Loops and I'm just gonna find something first. Let me, if you just touch outside, it'll exit out the window. I'm gonna hit play. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna find a loop. If I press a loop, it'll just start playing, syncing up. There we go. Boom. So this doesn't just work with GarageBand or just work with Koala. 
But specifically, especially if you're gonna do vocal tracking in GarageBand and you made something in another app, this is a great way to just do that. Just You just make sure that you export a WAV file and that where you export it is you go to on my um, iPhone or on my iPad in the files thing and you make sure that you click on GarageBand for iOS and then um, GarageBand file transfer. And that'll keep things real neat for you. And keep it messy and simple when you start. So start with just a sequence like that. Bring it over to GarageBand and just start adding stuff and messing around. I hope you have a badass day and I love you.